everybody welcome back i hope everybody's doing good today i'm doing great back with another job for you guys and this is going to be a part-time job right here with the company tomorrow health speaking of jobs with healthcare companies make sure to check out my video that i just uploaded regarding over 48 jobs with healthcare companies i'll go ahead and link that in the description bar for you guys but with this job you're going to be a part-time care advocate okay you're going to be managing order intake performing internal workflows to capture and process patient orders end to end remotely engaging with patients and caregivers by doing outreach via phone, email, and other communication platforms. And so with this job right here, you do need to be comfortable working in a part-time capacity. You're gonna be working 12 to 27 hours per week. They want you to have one plus years of experience in a customer success or service role. Healthcare experience or knowledge is a plus. Also be empathetic, have a deep interest in improving the customer experience. Bilingual English and Spanish is a plus. Also an excellent communicator able to multitask and have proficient computer skills, including Google Suite, Salesforce, or other CRM systems. Ticketing systems like Zendesk and Slack is a plus. You will need to meet their internet standards, and the pay for this job is between $14 and $16.50 an hour. You also have a pretty quick application here, okay? So definitely check out this job. So I actually have another part-time job for you guys, and this one is going to be with the company Juni, and they're currently looking for a part-time computer science instructor, okay? And this job right here pays $20 an hour, and for specialized classes like USACO prep classes, the pay is going to start at $25 per hour, okay? So getting into the details, you're expected to teach a minimum of 10 hours and a maximum of 29 hours per week. The specific schedule will be determined based on the student's requested schedule and the instructor's availability, which may include evenings and weekends. So you do need to be a committed instructor who can ensure a stable and consistent learning environment for the students. So you're going to be conducting regularly scheduled online teaching sessions. So it's going to be one-on-one -on -one lessons through the curriculum and teaching tools developed by Juni Learning. Each course is 50 minutes long and taught online, and class schedules are set at recurring times per week with recurring weekly sessions with each of their students for the entire duration of the student's course. And you're going to be maintaining accurate records of student progress and summarize achievement by completing standardized session notes after each lesson. You're going to offer constructive feedback to help students improve, and you're going to also foster an interactive and respectful learning environment and you will have to accurately document your work hours by reviewing and submitting timesheets on time according to the established payroll schedule and adhere to the organization's timesheet submission procedures. You will need to solve or anticipate problems early or escalate problems to the appropriate Juni Learning HQ team and have flexibility to changing needs. So you will need college level coursework in computer science at minimum completion of two computer science courses with a minor or major in computer science or equivalent and you will be assigned different students and courses to teach based on their experience Previous experience in tutoring, teaching, or mentoring students is highly desirable. Also, a passion for education and building interest in computer science in kids and teenagers between the ages of 8 and 18. You also need time management and be able to work well with students, strong communication skills, and the eligibility to work in the U.S., okay? So, yeah, if you guys are interested in either of these jobs, check out those leads in the description bar. You guys know if you have any questions or any comments, you can leave those below. And as usual, I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Good luck to those who apply for the jobs.